Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're back at Adams Roadside Barbecue here in Goldsboro, North Carolina with Mr. Scott Adams. He's uh, graciously allowed us back in his kitchen. He's going to show us uh, another recipe and some few, uh, few more tips. Scott, what you got? Do a, uh, a T-bone. Um, uh, we call it just like old steak eaters. Uh, steak uh, T-bone that will uh, be, be have a filet on one side and then the strip on the other. Something very, very simple you can do at home and uh, show you a few tips on how to cook that. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. Put a little dash of uh, EVOO right in here. Going to rub it around in the meat. Around on that bone. Kosher salt. A little bit of dashed garlic. Onion powder. Get a good little amount. Some ground black pepper. Rub it right in that bone, give it a little flavor. Some restaurant style black pepper. We're looking with this T-bone to form a little bit more of a, a pepper crust. Bring out a little bit of flavors there. Alright, then we're gonna throw a little dash of butter right on the top. We're gonna let it sit for about two minutes. Cut our skillet on, our cast iron uh, lodge skillet that we have here at the restaurant. Um, that's a lodge or uh, any any cast iron skillet is a great uh, piece of uh, uh, cooking equipment to have at home. You can cook pants for steaks, hamburgers, chickens, whatever you need. We I grew up uh, eating a lot of cast iron. I feel like it's a, like I said, it's a great way to, to sear and uh, get a good crust on uh, any type of uh, meat. We're going to put it in our oven at the end. We're going to uh, set our oven at about 500 degrees. This is a commercial oven here, so it's going to be pretty hot. We're going get to get the flames here rolling, get our heat on the, uh, uh, on the uh, skillet, uh, almost at the high heat level. It's really, really hot. We'll see the grease, grease popping a little bit. See the flames there? So just a dash of butter. And then we're getting ready to get this T-bone, as we call it. Our steakhouse, T-bone. Put it right on in. There we go. Notice you can hear it. Get it on the skillet there. We're gonna put another dash of butter. Trying to get some char. Maybe throw just a dash more of pepper. I love the pepper riding on the fillet side of the T-bar. Now a little secret I like to use. I'm a I'm a big fan of uh, minced garlic. Uh, I'm gonna get these steaks going good, and uh, after I've flipped it over, I'm gonna put some minced garlic in there and a more dash of butter to get kind of a garlic buttery flavor taste. We cooked this uh, T-bone here on uh, almost high, completely high heat for about three, about three and a half minutes. And now we're gonna take it, we're gonna grab it right around the bone, and then we're gonna flip it over. Notice the char there. Again, a little dash of butter. And then a little more restaurant pepper. After you turn it, take you a swig of, uh, uh, of Adam's Roadside Barbecue Sweet Tea uh, here at the restaurant. We uh, are known for one of our uh, one of our staples is our sweet tea, and uh, nothing like good old sweet tea at a barbecue restaurant. Turn our steak over. Going to throw some butter right on the top. There. Put 
little dash of butter here. And off we go. In the oven, about two to three minutes, 550 degrees. Uh, this is about what we've got this oven set at right now. With that butter, that compound butter is just cooking. The flavors, just seasoning all together. Uh, it's gonna be a great T-bone steak. Here's the sizzle, garlic flavor. I'm gonna grab bone in. All right, bring it over to the resting place. All right, we're gonna come here. Got your T-bone, nice flavorful buttery garlic flavor on top. We're gonna go in, we're gonna cut right down the filet. Good medium rare. Really tender. Come in. We've let it rest about three to four minutes. All right. Now we're going to check that flavor out. melt in your mouth. Make this, get you some nice spring vegetables, get you some, uh, get you some, uh, also you can take this, this, this uh, steak, get you some uh, gorgonzola cheese, put you some butter with it, some uh, minced garlic, melt those together, you got gorgonzola butter, put it right over the top, awesome, goes with the steak. Alright guys, I get a chance to try it now, look at that, how perfectly cooked it is, how juicy it is. Running down my arm. Flavor is amazing. You taste that butter, that garlic together, all these seasonings. Such awesome flavors, guys. And just like Scott said, another easy way to cook the steak. Less than 10 minutes. You got an awesome flavor, an awesome taste of the T bone, guys. Guys, thank you so much again for being with us. We really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe, guys. We'll see you next time. God bless.